let's jump out of here. All right, another thing uh, some people might ask some questions about is how do you get your camera to move slowly? Because let's say you jump here at one time speed, you're not you're not going to get those cool slow moving cinematic things going. And the only way I've figured out how to do it is to bump this time up. So you're actually moving really, really fast. And for some reason, the camera decides that it's going to slow down. So I'll show you that real quick. So as long as you don't have, you know, any AI on your screen, you're not going to notice it. Like right now, the game's running at 20 times speed. If this guy was walking right now, he'd be like moving like crazy. He's kind of shaking a little bit, but you see how slow I'm moving though? You can get some pretty cool, even with shift you move kind of slow. Get some cool little uh, cinematic effects going, do the whole, uh, what is that? There we go. Backward zoom out. Zoom. So just remember a trigger, throw it on a trigger. Put in this code right here. Make sure you have this. You can change this, actually. I don't like to change it because the other ways aren't as easy to use. But just radio alpha. Repeatedly is nice because you can pop out of that camera and you'll be somewhere you want the camera back, but you'll have to restart. So just set that to repeatedly. Um, if you want, another thing I like to do, throw down two triggers. One for a different speed. And set this one for Bravo. And then you can you can um, toggle between the two. So like if you want to get, you set this one maybe for full speed, get it where you want, then you can switch to your half speed. It's kind of nice if you have like um, groups of people scripted and it's it kind of takes a little bit to get to where you want to go. You don't have to actually be running that whole thing at half speed. You can switch over when they're there. It's kind of nice. All right, one other thing I figure I'd show is um, how to get some cool uh, kind of, uh, you know, fly next to the uh, A-10s and the planes and whatnot. It's pretty easy. It's You just got to know the buttons. Go ahead and slow this down because you're not going to be able to keep up with the plane. I don't know, maybe 500, maybe. Uh, we'll try 500 right now. That's half speed. So we don't want that to be us. We'll jump down here. This will be us. Set this to player. Go ahead and set this to not. Yeah, that works. Okay. Waypoint. Set a waypoint somewhere. Doesn't really matter. Uh, I'll set it way up here. And then we'll jump in. I'll show you this. Alright, so when you get in there, you're probably going to want to... I guess you don't want to. This is probably what gonna, what's going to happen is you'll probably just use the WASD keys and the shift key. But for stuff like this, you, there's a key actually. Uh, it's the delete key. And when you press that, it actually switches to from more of the basic camera to more of like a, uh, I'd say, maybe a momentum-driven camera. Uh, you can uh, use the Q and A keys to climb up and down, you know, WASD to move around, shift. Get you going really fast. But the cool thing is you can get caught up with the plane and then you don't have to keep holding down, you know, the same direction keys because you've already built momentum. You can switch around, you know, kind of... Uh, jump around the plane kind of how I am right now. I'm not doing a very good job of it right now, but uh, it's pretty cool. You know, you can do some pretty cool stuff, some flyby cameras. Uh, you know, you don't have to know how to script uh, an attachment to a plane and then, you know, have the camera go for this certain distance. You can just kind of fly around, you know, if you get a cool shot, you can take the shot, you know, you don't have to, it doesn't have to be so cut in stone, which is the way I like to do it. Um, it's fun to do though, you know, just spawn a plane, throw that trigger down. It's just fun to play around with. Just something I want to show you guys before I end of this video. So, all right, well, I hope this uh, helped a little bit for some of you guys. And uh, remember to subscribe if you guys like my videos and uh, check out some of the other ones I've made. Some of the old school armor ones I had is when I started. So, if you want to know what it looks like when you first start out making armor videos, go check those out. All right, peace.